Another woman proposed to me. How many am I gonna get? So this is not the first time I've been proposed to and I kind of wanted to discuss this with you guys and talk to you about what is a mixed orientation marriage. Because when I opened up my email tonight and saw that I had a, another woman proposing to me from a month ago, I was like, oh no. <laughs> like I just, I, I, so I feel I just wanna share this with you guys because, so what's a mixed orientation marriage? A mixed orientation marriage is when two people of the opposite um, uh, sexual orientation get married or it can be two members of the same uh, or the uh, sexual orientation, like a, a lesbian and a gay man can get married and be sealed in the temple and live a life. Now, I've seen this work really well for some, and I've seen it not for others. I have seen it end in disaster. And a friend of mine got married. Um, she's a lesbian, and she got married to a man, and she feels that she's letting her husband down and not providing all that he needs, which is something that I don't want to partake in. So that's why I choose to live a celibate life and choose to follow the commandments of more than 50% uh, of our fellow brothers and sisters within the church of Jesus Christ. And this is why mixed orientation marriage would not work for me. But how many marriages have I, proposals have I had? And I always thought it was supposed to be myself proposing to them but I've had quite a few women propose to me. And I just feel that that is not the path that Heavenly Father wants me to take and I have to trust in that. And I thank you for all of your support with that because you can be a full temple recommend holder within the Church of Jesus Christ, be single, live a celibate life, just like a priest or a nun in the Catholic religion. So there's no difference between, between us Hello, Colleen. It's so good to see you. Holler, John. Um, Colleen, I'm following you. LOL. Colleen goes, really? That's interesting. They proposed. Yes. So I've had quite a few and I'm not going to give their names out, but so I have this Gmail account that I had to set up for my website in order for me to link calendars. I guess Gmail calendar. I don't understand how it works. And it's a, an account I don't go on much because I use everything Apple. And so I logged on to Gmail today and I saw all these emails from you guys, which I loved. All of you were supporting me, especially on September 7th when a friend of mine told me I wasn't going to qualify for the Celestial Kingdom because I'm not sealed to a woman in the temple. And you guys just all reached out to me and I cannot thank you enough for that. So what I want to do is is explain why I I am not going to accept these marriage proposals because I feel, so I've had people tell me that it's okay, you know, we can live in separate rooms, we can just be sealed together. And that's not how I want to live my life. If I was with, with a woman, I would want her to feel happy. And I don't feel that living in separate bedrooms is going to make it happy. So that's why I choose to live a life of celibacy. Even though I have agency and I choose CTR, choose the right, and I choose to be a part of his gospel with his name, I still want to make sure that I am following the covenant path and to make sure that I'm, I'm on the path as I choose to meet him, uh, choose to remember him always. So I want to make sure that I'm very clear as to what a um, mixed orientation marriage consists of. And I'm not saying I have many friends in the church that are part of this and that partake in that and are very successful and happy. And I have others that I've seen it not work for. So that is your own personal revelation, if you may. And if you are watching and that's something you want for somebody, or if that's something you want for yourself, I respect that and I will always love you. But it's something that is not resonating with me. And that's why I choose to live the covenant path being single. So I want to get to all of your comments and see 
if we had any. I had some major connection issues tonight. I, I logged on like four or five times before and I wasn't, it said nobody was on and that's just unusual because right now we have 35 people on. Holler. Okay, so um, let's go. Oh, my friend um, Dallin says, trust in Heavenly Father's eyes through yours. You have to. So da Brother Dallin, you have to. You have to trust in Heavenly Father. Um, D dot Y U L I one says, Dennis, you're speaking true. So I, I'm glad that resonates with you. Um, G R A N O A says, great topic. People need to understand that it doesn't work for everyone and it's not something we should expect people to do. So I'm going to leave it at that for a second. Thank you so much, G-R-A-N-O-A-H-B-A-R, for bringing this up. It is an important topic because mixed orientation marriage is not something that members of the church should wish upon their children if they come out. Um, if you know somebody that comes out to you, consider it an honor and say, thank you so much for confiding in me. How can I learn to be better? And that's that's imperative. So we should not wish this upon anybody or say, well, you can just you can still be sealed to a woman in the temple or you can be sealed to a guy if you're a woman, vice versa. Don't wish that upon. That's based on each individual's personal revelation. And like my friend Brother Dallin said, you have to see your revelation through the eyes. So Ben, my friend Ben says, I find it interesting how someone is proposing just randomly. Yeah, it's it's it was done in an email. <laughs> and I was like, I was reading my my email and I was going, what? <laughs> and she said, we're around the same age and this would work great. And I respect her, but I would want her to be happy. And I feel that if I did partake in that, it wouldn't be healthy for either one of us. Our friend A I Y says, God has a plan for all of his children with two green hearts. Thank you, my friend. Um, our friend L I N B L U 2 2 says, thank you for being a highlight and sh or being a light and sharing the journey. Um, well, thank you for joining. And our friend H A R P says, you are capital dash, capital M, amazing. She puts the dashes in between all of them. So holler, I think you're amazing. And we have my friend, Brother Dallin says, trust in the spirit gut. That is so important. You have to trust in your gut and in your own intuition. Um, our friend, K-E-L-L-Y, uh, G-R-A-N-E-T-T, -T, refreshing, open about it all. Thank you. And well, thank you back. Our friend, um, Elder, uh, K-E-Y-E-S dot Joey says, I know a gay man married and with a family. He is very happy. I understand what you are saying, though, and have so much respect for you. Well, I have so much respect for you back. And yes, I do know that it does work for some people. And that's something that I prayerfully considered. I've gone to the temple, I fasted, and it just doesn't seem right for me. And so we just need to respect and love everybody. Hashtag turn up the love. So um, Mary underscore says, people need to respect your decision. Yes, they do. And, and, I'm, and we all need to respect theirs as well. If they choose to enter into a mixed orientation marriage, we just need to love them and, and think about what would Jesus do? Holler. Um, Colleen says, thank you for coming out to me and confiding in me, me uh, memorizing that. Holler. Colleen, you're, you and your husband, John, are amazing. And my friend A-I-Y says, um, mm, oh, and one of two packages are headed your way. Holler, that is so cool. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. I will get them. 
Um, DJ Swanson says, Dennis, I'm in Newport, California. So is it my friend Colleen and John that are on tonight? California and now went by the temple as your live video went on. Okay, so wait a minute, I'm, I'm re, um, crazy. Okay, so you were, you were, when I was on Instagram live and, and you were, were you at the wet, the ceiling that was taking photos outside? Because that is so cool. Angela, I wanted to call you tonight. Holler, maybe we can talk after I get off. Hashtag term to love, blue heart. My friend Colleen says, books and birds. Oh, just love that screen name. I uh, love that you are emphasizing that it is not the same for everyone. And the uh, decisions requires a lot of prayer. Holler every time. Um, every marriage takes work. It does. It does. And it's eternal. So uh, every marriage takes work and has potential to fail without hard work from both. That is so true. Um, Colleen goes, yes, yes, so nearby our temple. A friend, Brother Dallin says, the next life is, is the start of an endless sequel, which, which is released after the Earth Life book. I like that. Brother Dallin, that is awesome. Awesome, my friend. Um, Handyman Dad says, um, served a mission in Anaheim. We had a lot of people that are connected to Anaheim. And I just spoke in Irvine and Newport Beach, and I was at that temple a month ago. So staying with my friend Colleen and John, and that is so cool. And um, temple ground was broken for the Newport Temple. There's such an interesting story about that temple. I did not realize that that's the only temple in the world that's funded by members of the church. And that, to me, is a cool story. So, um, and thank you for serving a mission. That really means a lot to me. It's, it's, because without people serving, I would have never been baptized. Holler! So, I've gotten all of your comments, and I just want to say that as my testimony, as I close, that this is, we need to rely on our own revelation as long as we're following the commandments and worthy to, to receive those, those, that revelation. And we're not picking and choosing our commandments. We can, um, we can receive an immense amount of blessings, whether we're single or whether we're sealed to a partner for eternity. And to know that it is, it is our own agency and decision to choose whether or not we want to and if we want to be a part of a mixed orientation marriage or not. And I say that as my testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I love you guys. You're the best.